So this is how I use Coda to manage the webinar projects. We run webinars multiple times a month. And at Excello, we have a lot of different projects and people involved. So what we did was in Coda, built this project. So very similar to a Google Docs introduction of what we do with webinars at Excello, I've created this little doc called Welcome and Helpful Links, where we have the people who are involved, the target market for who we try to serve, and then a list of all the different types of webinars we run with some helpful links, like we upload all of our best practices to this YouTube library. Here's the Google Drive folder that we keep all the slides and the scripts and the different uh, images, and then a uh, Slack channel for conversations about it. So on the left-hand side, instead of having these in all in different docs or in different places in Slack, it's just in one area, sort of like tabs on a spreadsheet. So I have two other sections that I keep track of. One is the, the project management piece, so in the project plan. What I do is I have a little spreadsheet for each of our uh, best practice webinars coming up. So here, the G Suite and the Office 365 one, we've just started it, we haven't developed the content yet. Whereas in the previous one, in the service module, we've gone all the way through, but we're still waiting on Jen to complete the, the transcripts there. Then on the outlines page, these are just the scripts for our, our different presentations. And then lastly, I keep a little area for scratch pads just for copy and pasting things like a blog template. In the best practices content area, what I've done is I've taken the really big uh, Google Sheet that we used to have, and I've created what I'm calling a webinar database. It's just basically all the webinars that we've done in the past, their statuses, the date we presented, information of who presented, um, some helpful links for the project management side, where to upload things, um, quick YouTube videos so we can share with our customers, and then some stats on how it went, like how many minutes it ran for, were people engaged during the presentation, uh, how many ended up showing up versus how many registered. And what I really like about Coda is coming off from the webinar database, I have three different views that help me manage my projects. And without having to create another spreadsheet and especially without having people get really confused on what this massive um, sort of Godzilla spreadsheet that I had created, um, what I did was create the roadmap, uh, the backlog of things that we're talking about but haven't necessarily put on a roadmap, and then stats on how things are going. So here on the roadmap, you can see that this is a, a linked view of the webinar database. So to create these guys, instead of creating a one-off chart, I just create a, a new view. And in this view, what I'm especially interested on is putting together a specific date that we present on making sure we have a good idea of what the theme is and then assigning the different people to present. So as you can see here, the ones coming up, we don't have any presenters, but for the next few, we've uh, signed off a couple people to each. On the backlog, every other week, we have a conversation of some ideas that we have, like talking about um, our forums API or quoting within Excello, all the things that aren't necessarily on a roadmap yet, we haven't scheduled them into an actual a webinar on our content uh, roadmap or, or list, but there's something that we think is a good idea. So we just throw in ideas as, as we get them. And then these are the ones on the roadmap that are scheduled out. So if we saw on the other tab, it, it's right there. And then ones that we've already completed. So as we move things from on deck to roadmap, it's really easy. You can just drag and drop in the Kanban board. It will automatically change the status everywhere. And, and that's what's so nice about this. So it'll change the status down here. It'll change the status on the roadmap from on deck uh, to roadmap. And then after the webinars on Friday morning, I log into Zoom and I see how we did on all the attendance. And without, again, having to go into that crazy roadmap or finagle with the backlog, this is a stats view that I've developed just to quickly drop in the numbers and our performance. So what I've liked a lot about Coda is the ability to merge these Google Docs with spreadsheets with really uh, catered and focused views so I don't have to uh, overwhelm myself for when, especially when I invite other people to the document and we can all focus on what matters to us. If someone's really interested in stats, that's what matters to them. They don't care about Google Drive links or YouTube links. So hope you like this video and I'll be coming out with a few others on how we manage the rest of our 
uh, small projects within Excello using Coda. Thanks.